Microsoft Planner is one of the best task management tools out there, especially for those people using Microsoft Teams or Outlook on a daily basis. But it has its limitations. Limitations stemming from the fact that it is more of a standalone task management tool. And if you want more features tacked onto it, then you have to pay a lot more. So today we'll be taking a look at a Microsoft Planner alternative that has the same Microsoft Teams and Outlook integration and the same task management capabilities, but comes equipped with a whole lot more. We're talking about an all-in-one platform that has the same task management capabilities, but also lets you set and track goals, exchange feedback, conduct performance reviews, create meeting agendas, conduct surveys, and do so much more from an intuitive dashboard inside your Microsoft Teams. We're talking about Team Flight. And if you're switching from Microsoft Planner, you can sync all your existing tasks in Microsoft Planner with your tasks in Team Flight with a single click of a button. So let's dive right into Microsoft Teams and I'll show you why Team Flight is a cheaper and more complete alternative to Microsoft Planner. So here we are inside Microsoft Teams and this is the Team Flight dashboard. And as you can see, this app does a whole lot more than just tasks. But let's focus on the tasks for now. Inside our dashboard, we can see our existing tasks, we can create a new task, or we can simply click view all to enter the tasks module. And let's do just that. And look, TeamFlect has a very comprehensive tasks module. We can see all the tasks that we haven't completed and the completed tasks are below. We can see all the tasks assigned to us, assigned by us, and of course, all the tasks assigned to our team if we click on the right, rightmost tab. But now let's head back to the assigned to me tab. To create a new task with TeamFlect, all we have to do is go to the right corner and click New Task. This is just one of many ways you can create tasks with this app. I'm going to create a task for myself. I'll just click Add Myself, add a task title, a description. And if I want to, I can add a checklist to this task. Let me just do that. Let's add three items to this checklist. Now, of course, you can create a checklist after you have created the task itself. So you don't have to create your checklist right now. Let's set a due date. And if we want to, we can add a label to this task and we can customize these labels as well. But for now, let's put the high priority label on it. We can create a recurrent scenario for this task as well. And if we want to, we can relate this task to a goal, but let's create it for now. And as you can see, my task has been created and as I progress with the task, I can check, check items off of this list, or if new things come up, I can add them to this list. But for now, let's close it. Now, I just showed you how you can create an individual task. Let's see how group tasks work. I'm clicking new tasks again, and this time I'm adding my entire team with a single click. Of course, you can individually search for people as well. And of course, if you want, you can assign this task individually or as a group task. Now let's take some of these people out of the task. Another thing we can do in TeamFlect is relate tasks to goals. And this is what sets TeamFlect apart because it's a complete platform and all these different modules interact with each other. I'm heading over to TeamFlect's goals module and look, we have some cascading goals here that are very easy to navigate. I'm entering an existing goal and all I have to do is scroll down and click related tasks and I'm just adding a task to this goal. Now we can add a title to this task once again and a description. And once we do that, we can scroll down all the usual steps that I just showed you and create. And now this goal has a task related to it. This sort of interplay between different performance management features is what sets TeamFlect apart. Now let's close this. Another way we can integrate tasks into, you know, your everyday workflow is through meetings. Let's head over to meetings and we can see my entire calendar here. I'm just heading into a one on one. And look, I have this beautiful meeting page with a meeting agenda right here. And if I scroll down once again, what do I have? Tasks, because tasks are such an everyday thing. They need to be easily accessible from everywhere, right? I'm clicking new task and what? Right here, I can create a new task. Let's close this one off. And of course, speaking of everywhere, I can head over to Teams Chat. And right inside Microsoft Teams Chat, let me just enter my conversation with David. And I'm going to go down, click this little plus icon, and select Team Flect. Once I do that, I'm going to click the ellipses, click Create New Task. 
and here I am creating another task this easy right, that task title. You know the drill by now. Right, if I want to, I set a due date for the 29th and all I have to do is click create done. A bonus is you can even turn messages you sent inside Teams chat into tasks. Right, now David can see this task. Now, last but certainly not least, if you are considering switching to Team Flick, but you're also using Planner or To Do, you can head over to your settings. And if I just click my settings here, as you can see, I have the option to sync my Team Flick tasks with Microsoft To Do. This way, you know, if I keep this on and head over to Planner, I will see my Team Flex tasks there as well. This just makes the entire transition process a lot easier. And if I click Planner, I will see, you know, my Team Flight tasks here. But that about brings us to the end of this video. What did you think? What is your go-to task management solution for Microsoft Teams? Just let me know in the comments. Guys, we release helpful Microsoft Teams content like this one every single week. Subscribe so you don't miss any of it. And if you want to try Team Flight for free, you can always click the link in the description. Bye-bye.